Each head of hard coral is made up of the skeletons of thousands of invertebrate animals called coral polyps, related to anemones and jellyfish. Hard corals are hermatypes, meaning they build reefs by laying down successive layers of calcium carbonate, which they produce as their protective outer skeletons. Coral reefs are generally very slow growing, adding as little as 5 to 25 millimeters each year. Tiny single-celled algae, called zooxanthellae, live inside their cells, supplying them with nutrients and oxygen through photosynthesis. Consequently, these corals grow best in clear, shallow water where plenty of sunlight can reach them. They are very sensitive to changes in water temperature and stress produced by a significant rise in temperature, possibly associated with global climate change, can cause the polyps to lose their zooxanthellae, a process known as coral bleaching which can kill the polyps. Sediment from coastal development can smother and kill the coral. Mechanical damage can result from storms, shipwreck, or boat captains dropping anchor on reefs. The results of all these threats can be devastating, turning the sea into a desert. In many tropical waters, nutrients are sparse, so the entire ecosystem relies on the coral for survival. Although they cover only 1% of our ocean's area, coral reefs support 25% of marine fish, making these systems vital to the health of our oceans. As coral grows so slowly, any damage to the reef can take decades to recover, if it does at all. If the coral goes, everything goes. These habitats are worth saving. <laughs>